Welcome to the do's and don'ts of Calculus BC. Do. Memorize your unit circle. The unit circle is used in Calculus BC just as much as it was in pre-calculus, so you need to have it memorized. Don't round in the middle of a problem. Always enter your answers from your calculator. If you round before the end, your answer will be inaccurate. Do. Study. There is a lot of content and formulas to remember for Calculus BC, and there is no formula chart, so you will need to study. Don't. Skip class. There is a new topic every day in Calculus BC, so you need to be in class or you will get behind very quickly. Do. Memorize your derivatives. You need to be able to take derivatives quickly and recognize them for integration, so you need to memorize them. Yes, even the inverse trig ones. Don't. 38 plus C. If you forget plus C on an indefinite integral, it will be incorrect and you will feel very dumb. That is a chiral mistake. Don't make Kyle mistakes. Do check mode. In Calculus BC, you will be using the parametric and polar modes on your calculator often, so make sure to always be aware of the mode that you are in. Don't forget DX. Your integral is not correct if it doesn't have dx at the end. If you forget this, you won't get credit, so make it a habit. This is a Kyle mistake as well. We don't want to make Kyle mistakes. Do learn all the ways to integrate. You will need to know how to integrate by parts, integrate by partial fractions, and integrate using substitution. These will all be tested, so you need to practice all of them. Don't write an integral with infinity. Always remember to write an infinite integral as a limit, or your integrals will not be correct or receive credit. This has been the do's and don'ts of Calculus BC. Uptown, funk you up. Uptown, funk you up. Uptown, funk you up. Uptown, funk.